Hey everybody, welcome to the Autograph Hound. I am Kevin, your Autograph Hound, and today we are looking at an autograph from one of my favorite filmmakers of all time, Spike Lee. And what's more, he has signed what I believe to be one of his best films. Let's move this down a bit. Do the Right Thing. Another great film of his is Malcolm X and Black Klansman, which he recently won an Oscar for Best Original Screenplay. It was original, right? Was it adapted? No, it was probably adapted. But anyway, so whatever one it was, he's finally an Academy Award winning writer, not director yet, but you know, hey, we'll get there at some point. His current filming film is on Netflix, um, uh, The Brother Five, something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm bad with names sometimes. So anyway, this... One of my favorite movies of all time, signed by an Academy Award winning writer slash director. Uh, this is a good one. So how did I come across this autograph? Well, this one was interesting. Uh, I am still on Twitter for reasons I am not entirely sure of sometimes. When Spike Lee decided to tweet something, he tweeted that while supplies lasted, he would personally be signing every copy of Do the Right Thing sold on his personal um, store. So obviously I jumped to see if I could get this, uh, obviously, like that was like, oh yeah, no, I definitely want this. And when I got there, the first thing I did is I went for the Blu-ray edition. This is not a Blu-ray, this is a DVD. And I have largely stopped buying DVDs except for like really old stuff that would never be released on Blu-ray or, you know, Ultra HD. And, well, the Blu-ray was sold out. Now, I don't know if, you know, he had any Blu-rays that he was going to sign that he was selling. Uh, but, you know, in hindsight, maybe it's not a completely terrible thing. I, I don't know because of the, the way the um, packaging is. Um, the Blu-ray packaging, the autograph would be exposed. So, who knows? Maybe, maybe it works out for the best in the long run. But they did have the DVD. And even though I don't really buy DVDs anymore, for a Spike Lee autograph, I would definitely do that. Uh, which also means I'm probably going to buy this movie again on Blu-ray, you know, so, <laughs> uh, well played, Spike. And here's the thing, it was only $30, it was no more than the cost, the retail cost of a regular, uh, actually, no, this was $40, because it's a Criterion collection, so yeah, it was $40, plus a few dollars in shipping, uh, no more than what a, um, oh, I'm sorry, folks, it was $30, I'm, it's late, can you tell it's late? <laughs> anyway, it was $30 because it's a DVD. And so it didn't cost any more than what a DVD would cost retail price. Oh, that was a lot to say. Um, a lot of roundabout there. Anyway, so, you know, that was a pretty easy decision to make. Now, had this been like a $100, $200 DVD, I don't know. Maybe I would have uh, not done it. Um, but, like I said, it was just $30. So, uh, you know, if you turn on the side, that's you can really read it. So, it, it's, it's, you know, um, I mean, I can read the Lee part. I can definitely see that. Um, the spike isn't spelled out as well as I would like. It actually kind of reads like frankly, if I'm being perfectly honest. It kind of reads like frankly or, or how Lee, um, this is unfortunately, and again, this is not a criticism of Spike himself personally, talented writer, talented filmmaker, my auto signature, um, I almost said autograph, but nobody wants my autograph. Um, but my signature is fairly chicken scratch scratches myself. Um, one of the reasons, you know, celebrities do chicken scratch autographs is because when they sign a lot, you know, they just want to get it done quickly. So, you know, this definitely reeks of that. Unfortunately, it has the negative side effect that it's a little bit more difficult to read. And it's one of those situations where you kind of have to tell people who signed it and I do remember there was a candid camera uh episode where they had like a football player and I forgot who the football player was I'm sorry and he was signing things but he had like a cast on and it was a fake cast because he didn't really break his arm and the joke was how much is an autograph worth if you can't read it and a lot of people just you know confused by the autographs like you know they couldn't read it and it was like um okay uh, interestingly though we're kind of beyond that i don't think they could air that skit anymore because now it doesn't really matter what the autograph looks like if you see the person signing it you know they signed it and so you tell your friends this also might be why um 
you know, selfies have kind of replaced the autograph, if you will, because when you have an autograph, especially one that looks like this, people ask, well, are you sure it's him? And you know, in all fairness, maybe Spike didn't autograph this. It could have been a secretary. I don't know. I'm going to trust that it is his. Um, but maybe this is why people prefer a selfie, because it's like, okay, see, I'm there. There's the actor or the director or writer. So, you know, it's real. But anyway, um, but I do enjoy this. I mean, again, I love collecting Academy Award winners autographs. Uh, and it's very, very rare to, um, for, well, maybe not super rare, but for him to offer it on what is arguably his best movie. Uh, now he didn't win the award for this one. He was nominated. Uh, maybe that would have meant that Black Klansman would have been a better movie to have autographed because he actually won the autograph for, uh, the Oscar for that one. But, um, but no, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I have his autograph. It's on a movie I really like. It's, it's on a Criterion, so, you know, that's that's definitely going to be worth a little bit more down the line. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's where we're going to leave this one. Did any of you manage to get him when he was signing this on a sale? Did you get it in Blu-ray? Or do you have another movie of his signed? I would like to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.